What's going on everyone? Andrew here. Welcome back to another episode of Embroidery Hub. Today, I'm gonna teach you how to customize one of the most profitable garments in the world to custom apparel. And that garment is... A Letterman jacket. I'll teach you how to embroider up to four designs on the front and back of a Letterman jacket using a popular technique called applique, and I'll also show you the best hoops to embroider for the placement. Along the way, I'll also give you a few helpful tips to make sure your embroidery runs smoothly. But before we get into today's topic, if you like this video or enjoy content like this, be sure to smash that like button and subscribe to our channel so you can stay up to date with our latest videos. Now, with that out of the way, it's game time! Now let's talk about what we're gonna need to finish this project. We'll be using a blank letterman jacket, black terry cloth fabric for the applique on the front left side of the jacket, a roll of black fleece for the applique on the back of the jacket, four sheets of 3.5 ounce cutaway stabilizer, embroidery thread, standard 7511 embroidery needles, a 5.5 magnetic mighty hoop for embroidering the right chest logo, an 8x13 magnetic mighty hoop for embroidering the applique portions of our design, a 13x16 mighty hoop for the large design on the back, curved applique scissors, and regular scissors. For this project, I'll be using the MT1501 15 needle commercial embroidery machine. This machine is perfect for tackling a wide array of embroidery projects and multicolored designs. Let's start by embroidering the applique design on the front left side of our jacket. All right, so I'm gonna select my file, and we're gonna go to the last page, and this one is going to be letterman two. We're gonna select okay. And in this case, our design is already set for 270 degrees, which is the way we're gonna set it up for the front left side of our jacket. And we have already our colors set up. Placement stitch, tack down, and then the satin stitch. Okay. Also, we're, well, before we do that, we'll make sure that we set it to automatic manual. There we go. I'm gonna hit OK, and our design is selected. Now I'm gonna hoop my full chenille terry cloth. Now let's go ahead and load it onto the machine. Now I'm going to embroider my tray stitch so I know where to cut my fabric. Then, I'm going to hoop the front of the jacket using my 8x13 Magnetic Mighty Hoop. Once that's done, I'm going to go ahead and put my jacket onto my machine and I'm going to embroider my placement stitch so I know where to place my applique. Now I'm gonna take my black terry cloth R and I'm gonna place it over the jacket and onto the placement stitch. I'm using this to create the textured chenille effect on my lettering. This is a quick and easy alternative for anyone that doesn't have a machine with chenille capabilities or is working on a time crunch. If you're in the market for a machine with chenille capabilities, we actually have a video on our channel where we use Rakoma's MCC061501 embroidery plus chenille combo machine to create patches with chenille. I'll drop a link to that video in the card above and the description below, along with a link to our website where you can learn more about this game-changing machine. Now that I have my terry cloth R on my jacket, I'm going to embroider the tack down stitch to secure the fabric to my jacket.
beautiful. That came out really good. Now that we have the first part of our Letterman jacket done, it's time to do our right chest logo. So for this portion of my design, I'm gonna be using one sheet of 3.5 ounce stabilizer, and I'm gonna be using a different Mighty Hoop, my 5.5 inch Mighty Hoop. For those of you who've never used a Mighty Hoop before, I highly recommend it. The powerful Mandix make hooping garments as easy as one, two, and three. If you're interested in adding the magnetic Mighty Hoops to your business, then be sure to visit shop.recoma.com today. So now I'm just gonna hoop my jacket, get it loaded to my machine, and trace my design. Perfect. All right, halfway done. Now for the back of my jacket. So for my third design, I'm gonna hoop my fleece onto my eight by 13 Mighty Hoop, and then I'm gonna embroider my trace stitch so I know where to cut my fleece letters. Now I'm going to unhoop my fabric and cut out each letter. Now that we've cut out our fleece letters, I'm gonna go ahead and hoop my jacket with one sheet of stabilizer. Now I'm gonna load my jacket onto my machine and I'm gonna embroider my placement stitch so I know where to put my fleece letters. All right, now that that's done, the last thing I'm gonna do is embroider my final design. Since this design is gonna run the full length of my jacket back, I'm gonna upgrade to my 13 by 16 magnetic Mighty Hoop. First, I'm gonna unhoop my eight by 13 Mighty Hoop. All right, so now we're gonna hoop our jacket with one sheet of stabilizer. All right, now that it's hooped, let's go ahead and load it onto the machine.
with that, our Letterman jacket is done. This jacket came out great. Definitely championship worthy if I do say so myself. Let's try it on. This jacket came out great. Now that you know how to embroider a Letterman jacket, let's talk about the three reasons why you'll embroider a Letterman jacket. Profit, profit, and more profit. Letterman jackets have one of the highest markup rates of any custom garment. For this project, we purchased our jacket for around $23. This will allow us to sell our finished garment for a higher price. Along with the thread, stabilizer, and the other materials used to embroider our jacket, the total cost of materials is around $11 to $12. Once we're done, however, we can easily sell our jacket for over $100. And depending on the complexity of the design and the quality of the jacket, that number can be even higher. Just make sure when pricing your Letterman jacket that you factor in the hours and materials that went into the project. We actually have a video on our YouTube channel where Recoma CEO Henry Ma goes into greater detail about how to properly price your embroidery. I'll be sure to put a link to that video in the card above and the description below. All right, that's it for today. If you're looking for more inspiration for your next embroidery project or to get some more advice on embroidery, then be sure to check us out on Facebook and join our Embroidery and Custom Apparel Mastery Group. If you haven't done so already, also make sure to follow us on Instagram and TikTok for informative and entertaining content. Be sure to let us know in the comments if there are any other topics you'd like to see in a future episode of Embroidery Hub. I'll see you next time.